Good morning. Well, it's later in the morning. I already did good morning. <laughs> I tell you, <laughs> when I come up with these things, I don't think things through very well. <laughs> but hey, let's try and walk our way through a new one. I'm about to do a really big no-no. All right, especially to a lot of my fans. But I got to do it because I just can't help it. I need to make sure you understand what's at stake here. <clears throat> I do believe you, and well, not really so much me per se, but at the same time, me as well, uh, are being manipulated. We are being manipulated really hard, okay? Um, by the media, the conservative party, and Polyev. Okay, now let me run down this rabbit hole with you so you understand. Oh, car coming. So you understand what I'm talking about. All right. Lately, the media talk about when it comes to the Conservative Party election or, you know, choosing a new leader, um, it's been all about three people that they only talk about three of them. And first off, I was wrong. Patrick Brown is as woke as they come. So you want to be careful with him. Um, that's one of them. The other one is Sheree. And the third one is Polyev. We talk about nobody else from the conservative leadership. Okay. Um, they... They have been manipulating us um, because they know that Sheree will never get elected by conservatives because he's a liberal. Um, Brown has no has no following. It, it's like he's just there to cause noise. Um, and uh, Polyev, the media constantly play on us to get us to vote for him. Because they'll bash on him and compare him with Sheree and all the others, or um, Aunt Sheree and Brown. But you see, the media and the conservatives know that we're anti media. So they're playing on us. Okay? And I'm sorry, but this is all in cahoots with one another, from what I can see. From my perspective and perspective is reality isn't it according to our way of thinking these days well my perspective says that the media have been playing us along and so has Polyev you see the conservatives and Polyev keep touting this one line you know I stand with freedom loving people you stand with freedom-loving people. And you're against mandates. Okay? All right. This week, you have taken it upon yourself to create a buzz. I don't think it's grabbed much traction, but you went on a topic you knew was controversial. The media grabbed it and started bashing on you for it. And the Conservative Party is just sitting back letting it happen because they don't want to talk about the real issues. Mr. Polyev, as much as anti-white culture is kind of important, it's not a relevant thing to our current situation. You see, in three days time, there's a vote, there's a meeting to conduct a vote, okay? But this isn't a meeting of Canadians, but it directly impacts Canadians. It in impacts Canadians' freedoms. It impacts Canadians' mandates. All the things that you say you're against, but not once has the Conservative Party or Peter, pa or Peter, oh my God, Pierre Polyev, Dang, I did it again. Um, anyway, Pierre Polyev 
uh, said one word about the fact that there is a meeting to take away Canadians' sovereignty, instill mandates, and remove Canadians' freedoms. by not just an unelected body like our health department our health officials but also an unelected foreign influenced foreign body now I say foreign influence because at the same time that they're holding this meeting in Geneva Switzerland is the same day or the same period that the WEF is holding their meeting in Davos, Switzerland. Convenient? Coincidental? Hmm. Welcome to the fringe. Why won't you speak out on this? We have three days left. You're just manipulating us. Welcome to the Fringe. 